so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing a concept you guys got came up with. I definitely should start like screenshotting when I see a comment with a good idea because going back and trying to find a comment is really difficult, but one of you guys suggested this, so thank you. Mm -hmm to you. I swear you guys have the best ideas. Like I try and think of concepts, but like honestly scrolling through the comments, you guys make up the best ideas. And I just like think this is going to be so fun. So lots of clothing brands will name a clothing piece, whether it's, I don't know, they'll name it like Sarah or Jamie, like the Jamie jeans. Like people are named Jamie all the time and so are the jeans. Now picture this, a person named Jamie wears the Jamie jeans and then they find a shirt named Jamie and they wear that too. And then eventually they're wearing an entire outfit of Jamie. Are you following me? So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be shopping exclusively for pieces named Mia. So then I can wear an outfit entirely made of pieces named Mia. So Mia, where's Mia, where's Mia, where's Mia, where's Mia, where's Mia, a full outfit of Mia. I'm so excited. I'm just really excited to see like what pieces are named Mia? Like, are they going to be my style? Do all Mias have the same style? I really doubt it. Are the pieces going to be crazy? All the Mia pieces are super printed and loud, or are they going to be very basic and neutral? I don't know. I'm sure there's no rhyme or reason to name a piece Mia or any name for that matter. It's probably just kind of random, but either way, we're gonna find some Mia outfits. I hope you guys are half as excited as I am because now that I'm saying this out loud, I'm like, is this a good idea? But like, I just was like really excited about it. I really want to do it. So I think without further ado, I don't know what we're going to be able to find, but let's get on the computer and let's get shopping. Okay, so I think the first thing we should search is just like a simple, like, why am I wobbling my laptop? I need to set this down. Okay, I'm not gonna hold the laptop. I'm just gonna put it right here. You won't see it, but I'm on it. Okay, the first search I'm gonna do is just a simple Mia tops. I just wanna see if there are any tops that are named Mia. I'm gonna go to the shopping feature. Just scroll through here. So right now we've got this. So see, top Mia blue stripe. So the name of the top is Mia. That's what we're looking for. And like immediately, this catches my eye. Mia layering top. Um, excuse me? Have you literally ever seen a more Mia top than this? Um, turtleneck? Um, a neutral? Um, fairly basic? I definitely think that we have to get this. We'll style the outfit around this Mia top. Okay, now I'm gonna search Mia jeans. We've got some Mia front yoke, slim in love song, citizens of human, $318? What? Excuse me? Okay, these citizens of humanity jeans uh, aren't available to ship to Canada. I know that because I was looking the other day, but they sell them on Revolve, which does ship to Canada. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a simple search for Mia because maybe we'll be able to find some more stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my, we've got some, look at this dress. I mean, this wouldn't go with the shirt we just picked up, but like, that is like nothing I would ever wear in my entire life. I share the same name as this dress, but that's not me at all. But would it be fun to try on? Probably. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness, the movement Mia pants. Those look like something I'd like. High rise Mia relaxed straight fit jean. I mean, these would go with the turtleneck. Like they're kind of cute. I don't know, I'll leave them in my cart. We'll see if we can find anything else. But these are Mia jeans. Mia cardigan. I would get that if it wasn't $414. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a lot of things named Mia here. I definitely think about 50% of the things named Mia I would wear. Like there's definitely some things I like and some things I don't like. I don't know if that means anything. Now I'm gonna look at some Mia shoes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, these are clogs by Mia. So the brand's name is Mia, but these are the Abbey clog. So I don't think that counts. This is the Sophia clog. Okay. Ooh, I don't mind these. The Mia and Jody. Okay, so two names there. All right. There's actually quite a few options here for shoes with the name Mia. Ooh, 
Ooh, woman's Mia and McKenna boot. I don't get it. Like, why is there two names? Is it like, am I missing something? These are so cute. I feel like these would look really good with the jeans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add these to the car. I'm just gonna get a bunch of things in my car and then I'm gonna decide later on the outfits. Let's see if Etsy has any Mia earrings. Oh my gosh, there are so many. <gasps> Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I feel like I'm all over the map right now. Sorry if you guys are confused. Like, I'm just trying to find lots of pieces that are named Mia, and then I'm gonna put outfits together so we can try like three outfits of fully Mia pieces. Those are so cute. Are you kidding me? Wow, like people are so talented. These are beautiful. I love these. Oh my gosh, like clay earrings really have a special place in my heart, seriously. Are you kidding me? Those are so cute. I had found these earrings the other day. I'll post a picture of them. They were the Mia Organic Rainbow Dangle Earring, and these are so cute. So I bought them already. <laughs> I was gonna look for some more, but like those are the best ones. So I got them already. Okay, I feel like those black boots, the clay earrings, the jeans, and the turtleneck would make a really cute outfit. And then I have the white dress from Revolve, which was crazy. I don't even know what to pair with that. Now I wanna find one more outfit and maybe some shoes to go with that dress. We'll see. Okay, Mia sweater. So there is this sweater that we already saw in Revolve. And then, oh, a few on Etsy. That's cute. Sweater Mia cream beige. I'm looking for like maybe a sweater skirt situation here. I don't know what's the best way to find everything named Mia. That's it. Like this one is so cute. I wish that was actually named Mia. I wonder if it would be a good idea to just go to certain websites and just search Mia and see what comes up because Revolve had quite a bit of stuff. Okay, a lamp named Mia. I actually like that lamp, like it's cute. Okay, Mia turtleneck crop sweater. I mean, Mia and turtleneck, we know it goes together. We know it does. Chino pants. Ugh, I don't know what color. This is so difficult. They're all really cute. I mean, I like this blue immediately, but like, I like that brown too. Let's go with the brown or the green. The green is so cute. Um. Woven blanket, okay, no. I'm just flying all over the net right now, trying to find things named Mia. They thought I meant mid. They thought it was a spelling mistake, but it wasn't, it's my name. Oh, I wish this was named Mia. That's cute. Oh, this is Saks Fifth Avenue? Oh my, okay. Oh, it's sold out in every size except 10 and 12. I don't think that'll fit me. But let's do a quick Mia search. We've got some platform heels, okay. Okay, I just got a few leads. First things first, I found this skirt again. The Mia belted cargo pocket mini skirt. I feel like this would look cute with that green turtleneck. Um, I also found this skirt which is actually called the Mia denim skirt. So that's kind of unique as well. And then I don't know this brand, but they had a few things named Mia, which none of these seem very much my style, but they, we share the same name. And then Princess Polly also had a few Mia things, which are also very neutral. I feel like this skirt is probably the better option, but I don't know why all these sizes aren't there, but then these sizes are here. Quite confusing, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to cart. Okay, it looks like this is the only Mia product. Shorts, I don't think I need shorts right now. Ooh, these are cute though. I like these sets, but I'm not shopping for myself right well i am but I'm, i have a point to this the shoes are just really oh oh my gosh my video just came up mia in shoes here i am okay i feel like the shoes are just too oh my gosh here i am again i'm so scared okay i think i'm just gonna cut my losses i'm gonna get those three outfits and I guess we'll see how they look. I feel like there wasn't very many exciting things named Mia. I don't know if I'm just searching in the wrong places. Maybe there's an easier way to shop for this. Definitely let me know down below. I'd be down to do a part two if there's a bunch of Mia pieces that I didn't get to see, but I think this will be pretty fun. We'll have to judge them from a Mia judging another Mia's outfit piece. We'll see what I think. Let's flip to when we have the outfits to try on. Okay guys, it has been just over a month and as you can see by this Rubbermaid, everything has arrived. Right on time, Chip. 
right on time. So as you can probably see by my outfit, I decided, whoa, I didn't realize I'd have to go this far. Hello, I'm back. Today, I feel like I'm wearing a very Mia outfit. I'm wearing a turtleneck. It's kind of a neutral, but it's also kind of a fun color. It's like this burnt orange. I actually didn't really know that I loved this color this much until I was looking at my Instagram feed one day and I was like, I wear burnt orange a lot. So I feel like this is a very Mia outfit. I also have gray sweatpants on and fluffy socks. So this may be what I consider a Mia outfit, but it isn't any piece named Mia. So today we are diving into all of the Mia pieces. We're gonna be putting on full head to toe Mia looks and we'll see if they match me. Mia. So I think without further ado, let's dive into the first outfit. We're gonna go in no order at all. This was just at the top. So I believe this is that cargo skirt, which was named Mia. It all is. I'm not gonna repeat myself a million times. You guys already saw. Here is that skirt. I don't really know what the judging system is because obviously I don't speak on behalf of every Mia under the sun, but like I will judge it based on if I think it's a Mia outfit, I guess, or if I just like it. Because personally, I think I would wear this if I was trying to look extra cute. Like, I wear sweatpants, yes, but if I was actually trying to go out and dress up, I could definitely see myself grabbing at this color. And I love the cargo style, like lots of pockets for things, you know, fit your phone in there, fit everything you need in there. So I like this piece, not too far from what I would maybe wear on a nice night. Now the piece I did choose to pair with this top is such a Mia top. Like this fits in perfectly a cropped, thick, chunky, hunter green, huge, fluffy, comfy turtleneck. This does the Mia name well. Like if I could design a top, it would be this one. Like if I was gonna name a like clothing piece Mia, it would probably be very, very similar to this. And I feel like these are going to be super cute together. So let's throw on the first Mia outfit and see what we think. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so cute. Okay, I knew I was gonna love the turtleneck. It checks every single box of like a clothing piece that I love. Like it's got the puffy sleeves. It's super soft and comfortable. We have a chunky turtleneck and it's like a beautiful green. So like there was no question I was gonna love this top, but like this skirt is really, really adorable. I also love the belt because I was able to like cinch it to my waist. Cause at first when I put it on, it was a little bit big, but then I was able to cinch it to my exact size. So there's no gapping and I was able to loosen it when I tucked in the sweater. Like these Mia pieces are pulling up for me, Mia. I hate talking in the third person, but I feel like I'm doing it a lot right now, but bear with me. If I am the Mia judge of these Mia pieces, I Mia approve these pieces. Okay. Okay, next Mia piece is something that I feel like is a little different than what I would normally wear. I remember when I saw this, I was like, okay, should I get it? Like, this is not something I would normally grab for. It's like a floor length or like mid length, white plunging V, very, very sheer and elasticy dress. There is not an occasion I would wear this unless someone like forced me to basically. <laughs> It smells like, kind of smells like a mushroom. The model looked gorgeous in this, obviously. It's a very pretty dress and it actually feels like, interestingly enough, it is like a very, very soft and stretchy fabric. So on my rating system, comfort is quite high and this feels like it would be very comfortable. Like initially looking at the style, I thought it wouldn't be, but now that I'm feeling it, I think it's got potential. So let's throw it on and see what we think once we have it on. The style scares me, but the feeling is giving me hope. All right, <laughs> this dress is definitely different than the other outfit we put on. There's a lot going on. There is a plunging, plunging neckline and a high slit. You can definitely see my bra through this, but I was like, I feel like without it, I might accidentally flash people and then that's a whole nother thing. So I'm just gonna leave it on for safety. This dress has lots of fun details that my clothing usually does not. It's got a plunging neckline, a high slit, this fun extra piece of fabric. And then also it's got like a complete open 
back and it also kind of does like this weird like sl like sloping skirt it's a very interesting fun skirt and like this dress is so comfortable that i actually would be scared that i can't hardly feel it on my body that it could just slip off and i would have no idea that's how comfortable and soft the fabric is so that's a good thing and a bad thing you have to be aware you know it's interesting when i first got this dress i got it obviously because it was named mia but i never would have normally bought this and now having it on i can honestly say it's not my style but I don't dislike it. Like I think it actually suits my shape decently. So maybe buying Mia named clothes has opened my eyes to a different silhouette that maybe one day I will be confident enough to wear. But for now, it's soft, it's comfortable, but it's not me. Now the last outfit, the one I'm most excited for, we have another turtleneck. This was from Free People, I believe. Oh my goodness, it is such a unique, feeling. This is not what I was expecting from the website. It's soft, but it almost feels like if you've ever had one of those like metallic shirts. I, I don't know how else to explain it other than that. Like if you've worn a metallic shirt that has like the metallic look, it's soft, but it's got like a little bit of hardness to it. That's what this is, which is so interesting. I was not expecting that. Like it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. It's beige green with a little bit of sparkle to it. And I mean, it's a turtleneck, which that's a check from this Mia. It's got kind of like a fun design on here. I wonder what that's gonna do. And then it's got cuts near the bottom, which I do like, it's a little bit longer. I don't know if I'll tuck it in, but this is nice. To pair with that top, we have some Mia High Rise Relaxed straight jeans. Now these jeans were pretty expensive, so I'm excited to see what the deal with them are. Usually Mia and Jean, I don't usually stay together because I am not a fan of jeans. Like pants, okay. Sweatpants, yes. Jeans, usually it's a no. But I wanted to try these obviously because I mean, we share the same name. Like we are called the same thing. Maybe it will be an exception. It looks like they're decently high-waisted. They've got cuts at both of the knees and then they are like a wide leg or like a flare, which I do love flare jeans. So we'll see how these look. I'm excited. They feel like they have a little bit of stretch, but honestly, they're a pretty tight denim, I think. Oh my goodness. Okay, so excited for these earrings from Etsy. These are like handmade clay earrings named Mia. So cute oh my goodness i feel like it's like overexposed on the camera but like these earrings are stunning i would love to learn how to make these earrings like these chunky clay handmade earrings are just so beautiful and so fun these might be my favorite piece i feel like they would look actually really cute with this turtleneck that i'm wearing right now i love the pastel two-tone orange and the gold these are gorgeous they look beautiful just like the picture i think these are gonna look cute with the outfit then lastly for this outfit we do have a pair of shoes oh my gosh look at Mia oh my goodness I'm gonna have to keep this box <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hoard this away oh my oh my goodness I'm in love with like it says Mia all over it I'm gonna become that person that just wears only my name like everything my bag my shirt everything says Mia on it no one will ever wonder what my name is like in here of the sole of the shoe it says Mia in there. Wow. And like, I like these. These look good. They have like no grip though, which scares me a little bit because it's icy out. But I love the design. They're kind of like edgy and fun. Easy to walk in though, because they have like a really wide heel and pretty good for like a winter shoe. I think they keep some heat in. These are nice. Okay, let me put that whole outfit on. And we'll see what we think. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am literally obsessed with this head to toe. Like I feel like if I was going to actually try and look presentable in the universe, I would probably wear something like this. What is up with these jeans? Maybe it's just that they're not too tight. Like they have lots of give in every area, but these jeans are so soft and comfortable. I know they were like, pretty expensive and I've never heard of the brand so I never would have normally purchased them but like I'm pretty excited to have them and they're like the straight leg which I guess is popular now I don't know I'm trying to keep up with trends I like can't figure it out I'm actually like obsessed with these jeans the style makes it so that nothing is like that tight like my thighs still have room my calves still have room my waist still has room which makes it just like a lot more comfortable because it's not like skin tight 
tight. And actually, I thought they were like a pretty strong denim, but they have quite a bit of give. Like this is a surprise. I'm impressed with these jeans. And then this turtleneck. I knew I was gonna love the turtleneck because I love the color and I love turtlenecks in general. But what I didn't think was that I was gonna love this fabric, but like it is so soft and smooth. Like it almost feels like liquidy. I don't know, like just like it's gonna slip off my body. I like it untucked, but not really with these jeans, but I like that it's like shorter in the front and then longer in the back, but I feel like with these jeans, it kind of has to be tucked in. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Then down to my feet, these shoes. You guys, I am actually obsessed with these shoes. I didn't even notice, but the front toe bit is actually a little bit squared, which is like one of my favorite shoe designs when the toe is like bulky and square like that. And I love the bulky heel. And I really like them with these pants because the pants are like a tiny bit short, but then the boots make up for it. <sighs> don't even get me started on these earrings, you guys. These are beautiful. I also kind of feel like I look like a mom, which I'm loving. I don't know why. Channeling my inner mom right now. Yeah, this outfit is beautiful. I can't believe all of these pieces are named Mia. Like, I feel honored to share the name with these pieces. Like, I share the name with a comfortable pair of jeans. That's amazing. Why did I literally like every single piece named Mia? Like even the one piece that I was a little iffy on, like the white dress, I actually really appreciated. It was really pretty. I am honestly so excited to have two new turtlenecks in my collection and also these beautiful earrings. I've been wanting to get like some fun, clay earrings and these are just like gorgeous they're so well made and just so cute and fun this was so successful what the heck i urge all of you guys right now to do a quick search of your name and clothing pieces and let me know in the comments down below if you liked the pieces that have your name or if you didn't like them because i'm very interested to know because i was not expecting there to be so many mia pieces so definitely do a quick search on your name and let me know what you think of the pieces because this was a time of fun for me and I'm interested to hear about your name as well. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!